everybody, what is up? We jump here and welcome back to my video. Today I wanted to go ahead and create another video on kind of formatting text. Now this may seem a bit boring and sorry by the way this is a shorter video and that it's kind of I'm not uploading a lot on this channel this week. Um, but if you go to my other channel, youtube.com slash the wave um, there should hopefully be another programming tutorial out. And you can go ahead and watch the first one if you haven't already. I am making tutorials on how to program using JavaScript, and I hope you'll enjoy those. Those seem really fun. Uh, and I'm enjoying making them for sure. Anyways, moving on here, I wanted to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and stylize text instead of in Discord, though, in YouTube. By the way, the reason I'm commenting on this video is because it was an unlisted video. And unlisted videos you can comment on without other people seeing your comments. Not private videos, though. Um, anyways, yeah, this had gotten a lot of traction recently, and I've gotten a lot of just kind of comments out of nowhere um, from people who are testing out uh, Discord text formatting and are just enjoying it. So um, I wanted to go ahead and show you how to do this with YouTube because you'll see uh, if you go through, you'll find a lot of comments like this um, or this, which are people trying to put in the effects but not having it work. It's because in YouTube, it's slightly different than Discord, but at the same time, similar. Um, it uses a lot of the same stuff like asterisks and underscores, but it does in a slightly different way, and unfortunately, it's a much more limited thing. So if we head over to this vi uh, video and I go to create a comment, um, and feel free to go ahead and play around with the commenting down the comment section below. Uh, I can go ahead, for example, and type, you know, asterisk bold text, and I'll go ahead and give you some bold text. If I do underscore um, italic text, this will give me italicized text. If I do dash uh, strike through text, um, I don't know actually what, what strike. I don't know. We'll say straight through text, and then of course you can combine them. So what you could go ahead and do is you could do, for example, uh, bold italic text. Um, and let's go ahead and do that. Or you could go ahead and do um, strike through bold text. And sometimes it's really weird about the order in which you have to put stuff in. Um, but let's go ahead and test this out here and see what we have. And there you go. So notice just from that, we got ourselves some bold text, we got some italic text, we got some straight through text, some bold italic text, and some straight through bold text. Now let's say we do want to do something else. Let's do italic straight through text. Um, or underscore dash italic straight through text. Right? Um, or, for example, all three. So, um, all effects text um, and I don't even know if I did that order correctly I probably didn't either way though you notice there we go so essentially the moral of this is you can go ahead and do some pretty interesting stuff with comments and text now some other stuff you may want to know about YouTube comments now if you are a creator you will have access to a couple of other features that other creators don't have access to or sorry, that other normal people don't have access to. So if it's your own video, first off, you go ahead and heart a comment. So if you click right here, you'll notice the comment is now hearted. And uh, you'll notice uh, I, I hearted a, uh, just a few comments here. <laughs> um, and so if I read your comment and I find it to be valuable or just kind of interesting or whatever, oftentimes they will heart comments because I read every single one. Um, and you can also pin comments. So what pinning comments does is it makes it so that it's always at the top. And you may have already known about these. Uh, one thing you should also know, is newest first. We'll sort by whatever the newest comment is. Um, and it's kind of this weird thing where pinned comments, I think, don't show up first if you're on newest first. It's kind of unclear. It's really weird. Um, but know that this sorting method is incredibly important. Of course, you could also uh, like and dislike comments. I don't even know if disliking comments does anything. Um, it's kind of unclear. It doesn't seem to actually do anything. Of course, replying seems pretty normal. Um, if you want to unpin, you could just do that. And on mobile, it's very similar to desktop. In the way that it works. One thing interesting about mobile though is that some people like aren't able for example to go ahead and edit stuff um, or delete stuff. It's really weird and it's a different more convoluted system. Um, but anyways I wanted to just go ahead and let you all know how to do some text formatting with YouTube um, because I was seeing a lot of people failing at doing that. So anyways I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have good leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and uh, thanks for watching. Oh yeah and, and uh, support me on Patreon if you'd like. Thanks for watching. Bye.